everybody. I'm not in focus. There. There you go. Much better. Okay, so first of all, I want to start with... I am never going to purchase anything from Moleskine's website anymore. I love their products, yes, but their website is infuriating. Um, I've purchased from them twice in the past month, and they do not stay anywhere on their website that there will be a sales tax. And because I live in California, it's like, I think it's a 9% sales tax, but they actually tax me like almost 10%, more than 10%, I think. And it's a little bit frustrating. I returned some of the stuff that I could return. I kept some of the other stuff. Um, here's one of the things I kept. It was really beautiful. I'm just saying their website doesn't say anywhere that there's going to be sales tax. Confirmation email. Your order is being processed email. No sales tax. But then that email that they mail you, uh, they send to you right before they, no, right after they send out your package has a sales tax on it. Here's your tracking information. Here's when it's going to arrive. By the way, here's your final invoice with the sales tax put on the end. But nowhere else. I've read their policies. I've read the all the fine print on the website, in the emails, everything. No sales tax. And they said it's perfectly legal for them to do that because sales tax is um, determined by the government. Therefore, they don't have to say it anywhere on their website. I'm just saying you should put it on your website so people don't get mad at you and they're not even going to refund it to me and I'm upset I'm not going to purchase from them anymore you know you just lost someone I mean not that they care probably anyway so here's the item I got it's a moleskin professional notebook it came in wrapped so nicely this is like thick cardstock black paper and it says moleskin right there in kind of like an embossed black um nice thing and then on the back it also says Moleskin and it's their little logo. I'm reflecting it towards the light so it looks like that. That looks amazing. Anyway, it has this like tab right here where you can rip it and then you can open your thing. But I'm just gonna open it from the side that way I can keep it nice and pretty inside. There's like dotted perforated folds on it so it stays all shaped. And that's the sleeve. Um, I got the professional notebook in like a plum color I think that's what it was this is so beautiful it comes with um let me see it has a table of contents an area for key tasks project planning goals numbered pages detachable pages to-do list double pocket and adhesive tabs so you can see all that there if it will focus a little bit there you go perfect wonderful so it's the professional notebook and it's really pretty it has stuff on the side and on the back it says it's 70 G slash M squared acid free paper 13 by 21 centimeters or 5 by 8 and a quarter inches 240 pages double expanded inner pocket history of moleskin is inside and it's really cool. It has these symbols on the pages itself. So there's a square, a circle, and a triangle, and it tells you like what you should use each little symbol for. I looked up this thing called a bullet notebook, and it's pretty interesting. That's why um, I actually got this. It's a recommended for you to use this notebook. I have a lot of notebooks already. It's gonna take me a while to get to use this one. And I got the hardcover one. It's some really smooth, I just really like the material, like, yeah, I put my face on it. Anyway, the reason I couldn't return this is that it might be a little special. It's got my name on it, my initials. Oh, and even the wrapper has a reuse inside. You could put your information on it and hit on people. It's like, hi, nice to meet you. Hi there, hi there. My name is blah, blah, blah. You can call me blah, blah, blah. Drop me a line. Follow me on or call me sometime. I am from, and then you can give them your social media. May I introduce myself? This is pretty cute. So there's these, and then there's these ones. So I love that it has this to keep it um, closed and locked up. Why isn't it working? Make sure nobody goes into your stuff. And then, let me open it. It's 
smells like nice paper. It has this, please return to me. And then you put your info in, and then you put the reward amount. It won't focus, but oh well. That's an amazing table of contents. Right there. There's even an appendix. Oh no, it tells you. Okay, so it has 210 pages that are numbered. So there's key tasks right here. And then these are Roman numeral numbers. And then project planning. You can put project date notes. These are also part of the Roman numerals. That goes on for just those two pages. Personal goals. I guess you could put your goals here and then when you've completed it. That's also Roman numeral pages. That goes one, those two pages, and then group goals. Same thing, it's just one, two pages. And then the last one is blank, but you could choose whatever type of goal you want this to be. And then here is this note pages, it's not numbered. And then you start. Page two, I guess, not page one. Page two, it looks like this. It's got a dot, it's got, I mean, it's got a square, it's got a triangle, it's got a circle. So there's three sections on the page. You could put like this week's information, like all the tasks for this week, and then the notes for each of the tasks. It's really cool. I love organized notebooks like this. All the pages are numbered on the bottom. 129. That's not significant. It was just a random number. Where's Alistair? I wonder what he's doing. Here's this ripped out to-do list that you can use. They're perforated in the middle of the page, so then you can rip them out. And it's just got a checklist here or whatever you want to do. There's a lot of space for writing information down. There's a lot of these sheets of perforated to-do lists, and that's the end of it. And no, that's actually not the end of it. In the back binding, um, back side, there's pockets. So this is like a folder where you could just stick stuff in right there. And this is an actual pocket where there's things inside. So first here is... These are the tabs that they mentioned. They're color tabs, so you can take one out and then just tap it on the side of your notebook. These are spine and cover labels. So you could put the white ones on your cover or on your spine, just bend it over like that, and then it'll show like, oh, year this year to this year. Quality control. Cool, cool, cool. And then this little pamphlet on the history of Moleskin. Culture, imagination, memory, travel, personal identity. That's going to be an interesting read. I'm sure it's on the website. So that is the Moleskin Professional Journal for, I think it was, I forgot how much it was. It's pretty great. The quality is good. I mean, I haven't written on it, so I don't know if the page's quality is good. Um, I'll definitely use it. I'm just really disappointed in the website itself. Also, they took a 99 cent international fee from me, even though they ship from New Jersey. Like, I'm not using the UK website, I'm using the US website. If I were using a US website, I understand if there were an international fee, but I'm not. Therefore, that's not necessary. I'm just upset about that. Um, there's just a bunch of hidden charges. I'm not happy. Would not use, would not purchase from website again, but might purchase from Amazon. I don't know. So that is my overview of the professional notebook. I'll probably talk about it maybe in the future. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's so long. Bye.